So the next vessel fare is the Lava. Now this tank is one of the oldest tanks in the game and it's usually retailing for around about 12,000 gold. So as you can tell for 8,750 you're getting a pretty good deal. Now this tank isn't perfect, it does have uh, side weak spots here which is very annoying when you're side scraping but if you can manage to you know deal with that I don't really know how you would deal with that. Uh, you could just go hold down I suppose but then again you know if you try and hide your lower plate you can get penned here with about 230 to 40 millimeters of penetration even some 220 will go through it but the turret on this thing is very nice now it's not the best turret in the world because you can be penned like under here and you can be penned with capola but I mean it's tier 8 and that capola is very very small you know, especially if you're going to be looking at it like this, because it is a, quite a tall tank, you're going to be looking at it about this high. Yeah, that's not really a big weak spot to hit. The gun on this tank is very nice. 0 0.32 accuracy as standard. This is beautiful. You can go all the way down to 0 0.29, which is what I have it on. And yeah, I mean, it's just nice. Uh, it doesn't have the best DPM. It has basically awful DPM. You're going to be looking at 2K maximum if you have it all fully tricked out it's not the best but then again you know it's it's a very accurate gun so you can sit back and kind of just snipe them when you are bottom tier because when you're top tier it can do something against tier 10s but it's not going to do very very well against close quarters tier 10s especially if they're just firing heat at you 400 meters view range it's got one of the best view range uh, for the heavy tanks in the game it's Basically, I mean, if you actually compare it here, my one, so if you, if you completely deck it out with, you know, vents, gun rammer, and then vert stabs, because you don't need, um, you don't actually need coated optics on this tank. You know, you're, you're looking at 462. Uh, just look at that. I mean, 2000 DPM, as I just said, with it fully tricked out is bad, but it's doable, you know, it's manageable. Aiming time wise, you're looking at 2.51, so you might as well just put vents on this tank. It's so worth it to have vents on this tank because the aiming time is so bad. 232 pen, and it does actually get 294 millimeters of penetration on its premium rounds. You know, this tank can hold its own in tier 10. Now, if we compare this Lerva to the Tiger 2, you'll see that it's basically the same, but the Tiger 2 just has a better gun. Now, I say better, you know with a pinch of salt because this penetration although it's okay it's not amazing i mean and you do only get 285 pen whereas obviously 294 for the lover now is that really going to make much of a difference not really but it's still there so you might as well point it out gun depression wise the lover has more um i believe the lover is slightly taller than the tiger 2 so that would make sense. Um, DPM wise, Tiger 2 has it. I mean, he just has a much better reload time than the Lerva. What can you say? Um, the gun on the Tiger 2 is the best part of it. That's about it. The, uh, the rest of the stats on the Tiger 2 are just awful. Like, it has less power to weight ratio. It has less engine power. It's lighter than the Lerva. You know, it's lighter and it's slower. Like, it, yeah, that just doesn't make sense. Reverse speed wise, okay, the Tiger 2 moves faster and the Lerva gets better view range. So, I mean, honestly, I would much rather play a Lerva than a Tiger 2. I mean, the Tiger 2 is basically one of the worst tier 8s in the game. And that hasn't been buffed in years. I mean, its turret just gets penned all the time. I mean, if you actually have a look at it, like this is the Tiger 2, you're going to get penned here every time. So, compared to the Lerva, yeah, I'd much rather play a Lerva than the Tiger 2. So is it worth the gold? Yes. Just, it's, it is. It's just straight up worth the gold that they're asking for. 8,750 is a steal for this tank. You know, that's like what? That's like about 28, 29 pounds, something like that. Around that much. That, it's worth it. Considering that this tank's usually like 36. Yeah, this is, this is so good. So yeah, I, I, I do think it's worth it. If you did enjoy this video, then you know what to do. I'll see you in a bit.